Star Mon here back again. If you're wondering why I'm whispering, it's because it's like six o'clock in the morning. I'm not trying to be loud. I don't think there's anything really to be excited about for this direct, but we're having a direct slash indie world today. They said it's gonna be 20 minutes for each trip's presentation. So I'm assuming we're gonna get some really cool stuff in the partner showcase first, and then we'll go ahead and get some decently cool stuff in the indie world. Um I'm not really expecting anything super duper crazy, especially since we're just like expecting a lot of Nintendo uh, success, uh, Nintendo Switch successor news. So I hope, you know, Silk Song <laughs> comes out or gets a release date, you know, sometime. I'll, hopefully we get some really cool games that are like, oh, it comes out after this presentation, you know, but as far as we know right now, we know nothing. So I'm excited. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go. Hello, everyone. We'll now present today's Indie World Showcase and Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase back to back. First up, here's the Indie World Showcase. Oh, Indie World first. Oh, I thought Partner Showcase was going to be first. Oh, uh, okay. Our Partner Direct is going first. Okay, okay. Headed to the Nintendo Switch. It's been such a long time since I've seen an Indie World. It's time to lay our cards on the table. Sure thing. Wait, why is there a Joker in my hand? Here's the deal. Hmm, are we getting Clubhouse games too? Oh, I was about to say. Never mind. That would've been crazy. I hate portals. Witcher? Wait, what? Witcher? Uh, <laughs> I don't know about Vampire Survivors. Okay. Is this. Is it just like. Poker? But with Collapse. Oh, shit. That's definitely an indie game. I'm pretty sure. Among Us? God damn it. Can never escape. But that's kind of cute though, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what this game is. I'm so confused. I like the, the pixel style though. The pixel style is pretty cool. Oh, okay, well, good for the people that like that game. We get a free update. Hola, som Nova de Estudio, l'equip de Rere de Gris i ara el pròxim joc Neva. El nostre joc és una història de maternitat on els joves discussen el rol de l'Alba. Començaran la seva aventura al costat d'una petita lloba anomenada Neva. Els seguidors oficials del joc mostraran com l'Alba haurà d'encoratjar i protegir una jove Neva del país del seu món. Però al final del joc, una Neva més gran i ferotge es convertirà en la protectora de la seva figura materna, l'Alba. El equipo ha estado trabajando duro para mostrar una conmovedora perspectiva sobre cómo quienes nos protegen eventualmente Sorry. necesitarán nuestro cariño y cuidados también. Estamos encantados de poder compartir las últimas novedades del juego y esperamos que os unáis a Alba y Neva en su aventura en Nintendo Switch. Oh, ok. So it's just them showing that it's going to be on the Switch. Ok. I mean, from what I saw from the game before, it didn't look that bad. It looked pretty good. Like, it's really pretty art style. But it did seem like one of those games that, like, that wouldn't get that much exposure. Like, one of those hidden gems, you know? But, like, it looks good. Like, the animation looks crazy right now. Our direction looks good, too. Loki reminds me of uh, Okami. That's like a cop out. Oh, I remember the joke I made <laughs> when I watched it. Creep and crawl your way what? up the corporate ladder of a bizarre insect megacorp that's what is this? In this surreal oh, RPG, you will take on the role of Moth Cubic, an ordinary employee who's recently received a promotion. But this is no time Wait. to celebrate. The 
threat of a mysterious oh, event known as the final process is looming. Can Moth and his fellow bugs save the company? Or even reality itself? As you investigate the cramped cubicles and creepy corridors of the corporation, you'll befriend bugs from all walks of life. Each it's awesome, it's pretty cool. Is interwoven with Moth. Not everyone oh, is like friendly, that. though. <laughs> Take on enemies in verbal this seems shows, like some, multiple dialogue choices, and be some sure indie game shenanigans, words. yeah. Your choices influence how the story progresses. There are multiple secrets, quests, oh, and uh. endings to unravel. So experiment and see what happens. Moth Cubit buzzes onto Nintendo Switch next spring. Okay. Hey, guys. We're AJ and Dio from Tokyo Productions in Indonesia. We're part of the that? Coffee Talk team, and with our much missed friend and the original creator, Fahmi, we created Coffee Talk and Coffee Talk Episode 2. Oh. Hey everyone, I'm Anna Winterstein, a game designer and a writer. I was the co writer of Coffee Talk Hibiscus and Butterfly alongside Junkie at Toge. Hi, I'm Hikata Ogawa, a writer and uh, English to Japanese games translator. I had the privilege to work on the Japanese translations of both Coffee Talk games. Today, we are thrilled to announce that we are partnering with Coders to expand the Coffee Talk world. We've been hard at work over the last year to come up with a story that retains the cozy elements Coffee Talk fans are fond of, but at the same time, brings something new to the table. And now, we're very proud to announce an exciting new game for Coffee Talk fans. Coffee, Coffee Talk, Talk Tokyo. Tokyo! I don't know what this game is. I'm not gonna hold you. Wait. Wait, do I know what this game is? Am I a liar? This song... This song sounds so familiar. Did this song originate from here? From Coffee Talk? Or is this like, just like generic? No, I don't think so. You know, the art star reminds me a little bit of Stardew for some reason. Just the way that the faces are like portrayed and like the shading that they do. I gotta look this up. I feel like. That's funny. Now brewing. That's funny. I feel like I've heard this. OST somewhere. I don't know any of the lore, the characters, or Let's check why out anybody looks familiar. Downloadable content that will take you to new and unexpected places. Discover a miniature oh. clockwork world in the sea of stars. Yeah, I was about to say, and this is getting DLC. Gear up for a journey full of I still need to play the game. This ain't is fire game. We'll have to play by new rules to put a stop to a cursed carnival. Zale will transform yeah. into a skillful juggler. The streets are saying this game is While gas. Will dazzle as an acrobat. Together with new playable character Artie, they'll explore new areas and battle through dangerous dungeons in their quest to save the world of Orlidge. That's so a level and spectacle awaits when this free DLC for Sea of Stars launches on the Switch next spring. Hey, Shrek. My swamp. What the Sorry, fuck? Remember, oh like wait. This oh, this is the power wash simulator. Dirt. Wait, this is. Need to be blasted away. Uh, fine. That's kind of gas. Ogre it anyway. What a is this? Muddy good time awaits in the Shrek special pack paid DLC for power. Wash simulator. All right, bro. <laughs> Feel like an all-star as you wash away the grime covering five fairy tale maps from the Shrek, Shrek including it's Shrek's very crazy. own and the Dragon's Lair. Don a shiny suit of armor with a new oh, night theme character on. model and get your power washing game on when the Shrek Special Pack DLC makes a splash on the Nintendo Switch system this fall. That's so funny. Hi, I'm Sam and I'm Toby. Our team has been working on a new game called Morsels. You play as a mouse fighting against the forces of wicked cats, okay. using magical cards to transform into a bunch of weird little monsters. It's a oh, there's a cat in the background. In a grungy, whimsical world. 
When I first fetched Morsels four years ago, it was a simple top-down shooter, which is a genre I love. Since then, with the help of Sam and our programmer Higgy, we've been able to turn it into something much cooler than I envisioned. I hope when people play Morsels, they enjoy the frenetic action, but are also charmed by the game's personality. I can't pay attention with that cat in the background. Not even the real one, like the fucking one in that corner right there. Like, that <laughs> shit is throwing me off. Oh, Annapurna. That's what they were? I didn't see the... Into the thing. This art style looks crazy too. I wonder. Never mind. I was about to say, what the fuck is? What is happening? Oh, this shit looks gas. They're probably on some gas making it too. What is going on? You turn into the people. Okay. What the fuck is that? Why does he have a wig on? What? The evolutions? Oh. This game reminds me of something, but I really cannot say. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. This looks like it'd be a really fun game to play on some uh, le legal substances that uh, you could easily obtain from anywhere. But that low key looks fire, though. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That shit looks gas. Oh, wait, this is a game where you date everything, right? Wait, I'm actually excited to play this shit. This shit looks fire, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This game looks kind of fire. You could you could date every character, not even character, any item in the game. With 100 dateable characters. Like what the fuck? Bro, you're dating the Hoover vacuum. Alright, there's a lot of showing a lot of men here. Shelly. Come to despise Doug. Your uh, overwhelming sense of existential dread. Oh. Um, I think I'll pass on Doug. Can I fall in love with a lamp? No way. Lux the lamp is only. Really? But did you know okay. that you could even date the game itself? Why what do you mean date the game? Text box, John. What? Flirtatious, branching dialogue with his fully voiced <laughs> characters. As you get to know them. Yeah, it ain't serious following. with this game. This game is not Perish serious at all, bro. This shit looks so fucking funny, bro. Bring your best dating game. Oh hell no! Result, not just in love, but also in friendship, or even disdain. I'm like. Find the object of your I know I got I got one friend in particular that would go crazy on this game. We might have to run it up. We might have to run it up. Hi, I'm Sienna, the lead artist on Peglin. And I'm Dylan, the game designer of Peglin and the founder of Red Nexus Games. The two of us created the first version of Peglin at a game jam in 2019. What is that? The theme of the jam was fall, and we wanted Old to create Goblin something Man. fun and physics-y. We ended up creating the first version of Peglin's battle system. When the pandemic started, working on Peglin became a fun and creative escape. We made cute places and enemies for our little goblin friend to explore. We then added two of our friends to help speed up development, and now four years later, we're a team of seven, and we're excited to bring Peglin to Nintendo Switch. The dragons have been stealing your gold. Oh, you know what? I have Remember, seen this. I've seen this on Twitter to probably. delve into the heart of their lair and exact your revenge with the power of pegs. In this roguelike pachinko inspired RPG, Maybe you'll I aim have. orbs and hit pegs to deal damage in turn based battles. The more pegs you hit, the more devastating the blow you'll deal to your enemies. Bounce your way to victory with a variety of different orbs. Some can split. I think that the game like this though is like pierce both pegs and enemies. Isn't there like a guarantee like one you hit. hit KO move then? The like there's always like a one hit option, right? If I play a game like this, I'm gonna always try to do that. Help you unlock the critical power of your orbs and more. With careful planning and aiming, you can create some spectacular combos. Relics will radically cool. change your game too. Equip these rare passive power-ups to prevent lethal damage or turn pegs into bombs. 
just to name a few. Yeah. Each run presents new opportunities for possible combinations. Oh, some roguelike. Dragon's lesson when Peglin bounces onto cool. Nintendo Switch as a time today. console exclusive. Just kidding. Later oh, today. I was right. Let's go. Later today. I'm not. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Probably not. The fuck is this? This looks like Roblox. I was about to say something, but I feel like that would have been. Get a job. You know what's crazy? My daughter would probably love the fuck out of this game. Cause what am? Yeah. No disrespect to the people that made the game, obviously. I'm just saying she probably it's probably something that she could play. We could play together. December. Right, this looks funny. All right. Oh shit. Okay. Follow my lead and watch no out way. for the caterpillar. No what way. Doing great so far. Wait. Hey, is this getting a second game or is this just gonna be coming on the Switch? I thought this was already on the Switch. Scoot. Scoot. Fuck no, dude. Oh my god. Good thing we're tied together. See, I was gonna be Both playing key, Chain Together. Hey, Wait, this game is Chain I'm Together. Going in. Oh. All right, let's it's slow it Chain down. Together now. We make a great team. Now let's try it with eight players. I don't know. As you can see, cooperation okay. is Wait, key no. In I think the basic platform. game. Yeah, this Pico Park too. Eight players need to work together to navigate. <sighs> I might have to lock in. We might have to lock in. I don't know if I can get eight minutes to play this shit though. Other Use strategic stacking. Coordinated. Oh no, they got the tie together shit, bro. To find all the keys and reach every level's exit. Was the tie together shit a part of the first levels, game? And each one can be completed no matter how many players you have on your side. Think it'll be a walk in the park? Think again. Wait, Even how many... greater challenges await in dark mode, where your dark skills mode. and your friendships will be put to the ultimate yeah, test. Yeah, we're gonna get ready for probably hurt each other when Pico Park Two jumps today. Oh shit! Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! We might have to lock in. Hold on. Can't get enough indies? Here are some more titles headed to the Nintendo Switch. All right, Pico Park Two is kind of cool, and it's a timed exclusive for Nintendo. Java Knight. Oh shit. Okay. Well, did I know about this game coming out? This is what is this a remake? A remake of the original? That's cool actually. I I yeah. Okay. Damn, they put Shovel Knight in the highlight reel. That's tough. So it's gonna be like the big announcement for the indie world, bro. Come on, man. Where's Ho where's Hollow Knight? At? Where's Silk Song at, bro? You know the streets have been crying for it. Nintendo, it's up to you to show us. Oh, no. No. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You can chill out on me with that. Metal Slug Tactics is still not out yet. I thought that shit came out already. The fact that they're classifying this as an indie is kind of interesting. Is it an indie? Like, maybe. I thought SNK owned it. Okay, this one I actually am interested in. I do want to play Plucky Squire. Yeah, this looks good. I like James Turner's art style too. Okay. Is there a big announcement or? Hey, oh, where'd you get that pizza? I found it pizza. in that tower over there. Oh. What tower? Pizza tower? Fuck. Oh. Oh shit. Pizza Tower. Damn. I'm gonna be honest, y'all got to the end of the partner showcase to get Silk Song. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. But that's crazy. Pizza Tower's on the Switch. I guess. Bro. This thing's already out, isn't it? I'm not tripping. I'm pretty sure. Definitely heard of my friends talking about Pizza Tower before. That's cool though. I like the animations. Got really goofy face, really expressive.
crazy this he has better speed than most Sonic games. Alright, Pizza Tower comes out today on the Switch. Yeah, as I was I'm pretty sure it's already been out. That's cool. That's all for all right. today's indie world. Alright, let's see if this partner showcase shows us. Showcase. As Most always, hype thing was Pico Park 2 and the dating sim. Dating everything. Date everything. Pizza Tower is cool. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't have the. I'm not gonna lie to you and be like, yeah, bro, that's, that shit's yes. Yeah, like, I'm gonna. Stick around for more exciting. I'm gonna reserve my. Today's Nintendo Direct my excitement. Showcase starting right now. Okay, Until see next time. Happy gaming. I don't know what I even want. I think I'm fine with what we got. Like, it's whatever, you know. Like, there's some cool games, cool little ads. Everyone, welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching in the second half of 2024 from our publishing and development partners. Okay. Okay. Let's get into the. So headlines. no 2025 games like I thought there was going to be. These games are Tetris. falling into place. More Tetris. Awesome. Wait. Celebrate the 40th anniversary of Tetris <laughs> with a compilation of historic games. I was gonna say this is like that really old. The 1988 one. Famicom version of Tetris. Chain I guess this cool. Using Tetris collection. In Tetris 2 plus Bobless. A little Tetris collection. Use special moves to win in Tetris Battle Guided. And more in this interactive museum. Including the games shown cool. here. I feel like they've done so in many addition, collections at this brand point. New Tetris oh. Time Warp, where you'll jump between gameplay styles from across the series. Oh. I hope they have like multiplayer you or something. You can also shit. watch new documentary clips about the history of Tetris and its key players. Tetris Forever drops onto the Nintendo Switch system this year. Okay. Plus, the NES version of Tetris is coming nice. to Nintendo Switch okay. Online this winter. And be on the lookout for a Tetris 99 Worth Maximus Cup event okay. yeah. also coming this winter. I haven't played Tetris 99 in a minute. It's been like a hot minute since I've played that. Speed into the oh, unknown. that's uh, what game is this? Damn, I need you to tell me the title. I feel like I've seen this before. Journey to the galaxy's depths in this high-speed sci-fi adventure. Where's this new? After receiving a mysterious distress signal, you'll this venture through new. a massive alien no, world to reunite with your beloved. Ride the stylish hoverboard to explore. Ooh. No, it's lagging. Hello, Nintendo. Stunning landscapes uh. filled with all sorts of alien structures, from scorching sands to wavy waters. Each area will challenge your traversal skills. Along the way, you'll face enemies in frenetic what melee combat. By unlocking skills and combining different abilities, you can find more creative ways to overcome it looks fun. You can also customize the hoverboard to match your riding style, solve puzzles, and gather resources to boost its speed, steering, gravity, and more. That's whether you're racing through key. terrain at high that's kind of sick. or in the throes that's of That's kind of sick. The hoverboard will be there to help you. Leave no stone unturned. As you explore every corner of this vast planet, you never know what or who you'll find. Star Overdrive launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch next year. Okay, so there is next year, so they lied. Do Goat Simulator 3? Welcome to the vast wow. island of San Angora. Oh, that is take on the role of a goat. Oh, that is not look. kidding. In this sprawling sandbox oh, adventure, you can headbutt, and explode your way across the island. Wreak havoc on anything Damn. and everything you find. Want to drive around town? Join Yo, I want, I want Untitled Goose Game again, bro. You can I want do another Untitled Goose Game. It was fun. Complete quests and gain karma to progress the story and unlock customization options. From fashionable nonsense like floral shirts and inflatable tubes to goat variants, including tall, angry, and even tasty goats. So buckle up and grab your fashion style by the horns. 
And you're not the only belligerent Billy around here. Unleash all sorts of bad mischief in two-player online or couch co-op. Well, I thought there would have been three since the third to, game. Uh, hoof it because the digital version of Goat Simulator 3 rams its way onto Nintendo eShop later today. It does not today. look good on the Switch, the I'm not going to lie to you. The game launches on Nintendo Switch this November. Yeah, let's get the game. Here's a rapid-fire mix of first reveals rapid and fire. game updates coming to Nintendo Switch. Rapid fire, huh? We still got like 20 minutes left, bro. 16 minutes. That uh, looks like, yeah, Trails of uh, Legend. Whatever. I didn't know what this game was. I was lying. <laughs> um, okay, Star Wars Hunters. There was some controversy about this game that I forgot about. So I guess it doesn't matter what I heard. There is a different Star Wars game. This makes me mad for some reason. <laughs> I haven't played a Worms game in forever, but for some reason this makes me mad. Oh, hell no. On my birthday too? Oh yeah, we're locking in. Oh, have I seen this? It's the Patrick game, right? Yeah, 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 this is the Patrick game. Is this SpongeBob? No, it's Patrick. No, this is Patrick. Oh, that's the, the joke they're trying to do. From Sorry. SpongeBob SquarePants stars in this physics-based sandbox adventure. Bikini Bottom is your oyster. Who said they wanted to play as Patrick? By performing whimsical skydives, digging up treasure in the dump. Or even blowing off steam in Mrs. Puff's rage room. Experiment with items you find, from exploding pies to paint tubes to make the world more Patrick-y. And he's not the only familiar face here. Yeah. Take on comical challenges from SpongeBob, Sandy, Squidward, and more. Buckle up. Why are they entrusting Patrick? Step into Patrick's shorts and the I'm inner map. Pretty sure they made this spot. game just because of the, that Sponge cartoon Bob they have. Right? Pants, the Patrick Star game launches on Nintendo Maybe they just want us to get his own game. I might be hating. Pre orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Yeah. Ready for your very own Another personal one? trainer? Okay, let's get started. I didn't know they're gonna make another one. The latest entry in the fitness boxing series is punching its way. I mean, I guess if they made a second one, they probably would make a third one. I didn't even know there was a second one. Like, what the hell? Or did the second one have like a Wii Fit trainer or like some sort of collab? Right after launching the game. Are you able to work out with like a popular character? I forget. With mitt drills, you'll practice with your instructor at your own pace. Looking good. I don't know how well and this actually in helps boxing, you. You can complete in exercise boxing. programs while seated for a different training experience. Thirty brand new songs are included. At Billy Eilish. There are also Wasn't it like Hatsune Miku in this game or some two shit? New ones. Whoa. Plus, wow. you can change their hairstyles. And this game must do well for him to make a third goals. one. Nice. Fitness Boxing 3, your personal trainer, launches on the Nintendo Switch system. I was gonna say this is made by Nintendo also. Oh SNK versus Street Fighter? Street Fighter says SNK. Eight Capcom fighting games are brawling. Is this another collection? Switch in one collection. But didn't we know about this already? Roster of games. Capcom versus SNK. Millennium no, this is different. Why is Nintendo Capcom getting all this shit? SNK Let's go. Mark Wait, that's so funny. Project Justice. Okay, that's kind of sick. Isn't this Rival Schools or Retro Man? Fighting Evolution. Street Fighter Alpha 3. Upper. Okay. Plasma Sword. Nightmare of Pilstein. If Power Stone. Yes, the <laughs> Power Stone. Oh, Power Stone oh. oh, we're going crazy. Okay, that's all I needed. That's all I needed. All I needed was Power Stone. All I needed was Power Stone. I was gonna say. And is playable online. 
Oh, fuck yeah. Power Stone online? Visit the museum to enjoy How am I gonna convince my friends to play fucking Power Stone, dude? What? Game. No, we gotta play the show when it comes out. Collection two. Launches Bro, Nintendo we gotta Switch buy two of the year. collections. Plus, jump into the fray when Is there a demo? Versus Capcom fighting collection, arcade classics. Where's it coming out this year? It's way onto heard. Nintendo Switch, September 12th. Digital pre-orders begin All right. later today. All right. Nintendo we Get shot. it next month. Let's go. Of the game gotta go crazy about stream the fuck out of this Switch, shit, too. November 22nd. <laughs> Only out of Marvel 2, though. Next, please take a look yeah, at this. Ten minutes left for this. I don't see it. Is this how Tellier is this how Atelier series? Atelier? Atelier. This looks like it. This looks like it. Yeah, it's definitely an Atelier game. Yeah, I tried playing Atelier Ryza. I still got it. I, I gotta, I gotta finish it. Got that shit for free too. I have not finished. It. Can I see some party members? Why are we fighting Wolfman? Atelier Rumia. Yumia, sorry. I like the design of her better than a. Uh, we hope you're looking forward Riza. to the newest entry so in the cool, Atelier at series, featuring a brand new protagonist. All right, let's see some more headlines. That's cool. That's cool. Adventures and allies await in these Nintendo Switch games. HD remasters of the first two Sweet oh. games are coming to Nintendo oh, Switch okay. in one bundle. Meet and befriend up to 100. That's actually allies really funny. Turn-based RPGs. During your they travels, just released that one Sweet in uh, special select successor recently. Spheres of influence while fighting for your cause. This collection That's cool. I never actually played these games. I might actually fuck around and play. Combat and oh yeah. Automate Time battles here. with a single button. Suikoden 1 cool, and 2 actually. HD remaster. Gate Rune and Dunan Unification Wars launches on Nintendo Switch March 6th, 2025. 2025. The HD 2D remaster. Oh, let's go. Three this year comes out this year, right? After gathering your companions and selecting their vocations, you can now customize their appearance, voice, oh. and more. Oh. With the new Monster Wrangler vocation, oh. you can use monster like abilities to fight enemies and heal allies. Wait. There may also Might be, be going crazy, bro. To use, but that's for another time. Da -da -da. Dragon da -da -da. Quest 3 HD 2D Remake <laughs> ventures onto Nintendo Switch November 14th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. All right, but three I mean, Castlevania games Castlevania. originally released on the Nintendo DS system. Oh, wow. Dawn of Sorrow, Portrait of Ruin, and Order of Ecclesia rise again in a single collection. Interesting. Arcade classic Haunted Castle is also included, featuring the original and a reimagined version. Plus, there's a gallery that includes exclusive art and a music player. Castlevania Dominus Collection launches on the Nintendo Switch system later today. All right, there goes a lot of shit coming out today, man. I was making that joke. Something you believe in. But what is this? The award-winning oh, Civ series six? returns with Sid Meier's seven. Civilization Seven. Civ Seven. Ooh, okay. Many legendary I was about to say, I, figures, it's not going to look good in Switch. Such right. as Queen Himiko. Friendship is her strength, and she can initiate diplomatic endeavors that help you research new technologies, expand your territory. Establish your empire. I've yet to play a Civ game. And I heard they're good though. Cooperate with rival civilizations. You can even create your own path through history by choosing different civs with each new age. In the modern age, you can evolve your empire into Meiji Japan. This is probably crazy for history, niggas. Like strength and military force. Plus, you and you your just friends like can see your kingdoms collide in online seeing random local shit happen that would have never happened. Create an empire that stands the test of time. Like in real life shit though. A revolutionary new chapter when you know. Sid Meier's Civilization 7 launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 11th. Pre-orders are games. available now.
on Nintendo eShop. Forge Bond. Is that Tales? Transcending time. No. I'm not sure, man. Celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Tales of series. Oh, it is Tales. I was kidding. The action RPG, <laughs> I was like, is that Tales of? Because yeah, it looks like it. I mean, I guess it is. It. So, I was not wrong. Asbel, this is a remaster. I've never seen this Tales of character ever. Meet Sophia's children. We will always be friends. I need a new Tales game, like a new one. I played the last one that came out, but I haven't finished. Uh, Several years have since. Uh, there's a lot of games I haven't finished, but I haven't finished it. I need to try the DLC out. To protect their loved ones. The now Tales of games are fire. Get entangled in a conflict that will determine the fate of the world. They need to give us a new this Tales remaster game. adds enhancements like destination icons and toggling enemy encounters, as well as what? downloadable content from the original game. Oh, yeah. That's uh, yeah, I should try it. Tales of I'll probably try this one. F remastered launches on Nintendo Next Switch. Year, they said second half of 2024. Like liar. Two adorable adventures. Uh, cozy bundle. I've, this game's been out. Yeah, the Sims shit. But it's crazy that they'll put this out, but not the actual Sims. It's been years. I get it. It's not gonna run on the Switch. But they could, didn't even try optimizing the game to run on the Switch, which I get it because it was supposed to be on PC. But they could have put The Sims on there. I just. Hmm. Isn't this on the DS? They could have put like some older Sims on the Switch, like Sims 3. The DS Sims game. The one on the Wii. Was that Sims 3? I think that was Sims 3. I love The Sims, but that's like... I don't know. Which, aren't we supposed to be getting a new Sims game this year? Or is that... I'm pushing it. Five Nights at Freddy's? Think you've got what it takes to manage this perilous <sighs> pizzeria? Test your skills and your nerves in this first-person horror game. Yeah, As horror game. And you're playing this goofy-ass music in my ears. You'll have plenty of job duties, such as helping performers prep for a show in the Pizzaplex salon, getting mm -hmm. high scores by playing nostalgic arcade mini games, right, and hopping on attractions like a log ride. Sounds yeah. easy enough, right? But you'll be doing all of this while avoiding animatronic atrocities along the way. Become a Fazbear Entertainment Superstar in Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2. Launching on Nintendo Switch this holiday. And if you're looking for more adventures in the Mega Pizzaplex, not really. Help Cassie find her friend and escape the ruins in this free story DLC for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Launching on Nintendo Is this on Switch the Switch? This holiday. I didn't even know that this game could run on the Switch. Let's check out some Nintendo Switch games launching in time for the holidays. We got three minutes left. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, this is okay. I'm actually hyped for Epic Mickey. Yes, sir. This is gonna go crazy. The game looks so good now, bro. Like, it was always looked good, but like, it looked, they made it look real good. Uh. Oh, farming game. That's what's up. Damn, I'm, you know, I'm actually surprised we barely got any farming games. This is the one farming game that we got. I was gonna talk so much shit today. Just Dance 2025. Okay. I guess. Thank you for not playing music so I can meet this shit. Uh, this Funko Pop game just makes me mad. She did the Akira slide. Yeah. I mean, I remember it was in the movie, but like, okay. Mm -hmm, yeah. Lego Horizon actually looks pretty decent. I haven't played a Lego game in a minute, but they made it look fun. Come on. Is this... I don't know what this is. Oh, wait, I do know what this is. What game is this? Wait, this game is got announced a long time ago? How long 
I'm going to this game. Or is this like a sequel? Wait. Welcome oh! Of Azuma. Oh, damn. I was about to talk shit about farming games. And here I am getting hyped over a farming game. It's the Rune Factory game. <laughs> Let's go! Wait, but this one actually looks crazy, though. This is the first Rune Factory game that I was actually hyped for. Oh man, I'm the biggest nature. fucking hater, but I actually am gonna play this shit. Yes, sir. Let's farm, bitch. Faster. Yes, sir. Let's farm. And the sacred I shouldn't have said shit. Rain. I was like, yeah, we, we aren't gonna get any These farming games at all. Dancer abilities can revitalize the land. Okay. This mm -hmm. Yep. All in the dirt. Yes, sir. All in the dirt. Houses and more to revive nature and establish prospering villages. Okay. How many of my villagers can I date? Is my question. But beware, monsters may lie. This game looks kind of. It looks way better than when it first got announced because that shit looks like ass. Hot garbage. Monsters to their human forms. The fighting looks pretty good in this game too. Very, very. Uh, from what I'm hearing, because my friend loves. Oh, is that the t the party? As you settle into village life. Get to know the community around you and deepen your relationships to find friendship or even romance. Who knows? Oh, well, I'm not fucking with any of these characters. I'm not going to hold you. But experience a beloved series reimagined. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is going to hit one demographic real hard. Factory bro. Guardians of Azuma launching on spring Nintendo 2025 Switch next spring. Noticing, noticing. Next will be our last announcement. Oh, this is the last one. Okay, please okay. I was about to say, please. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Sorry, this is not gonna look good on the Switch. But. <laughs> Already played Kiwami. I'm not playing this again on the Switch. But. But I know largest entertainment district. you must navigate the twists and turns. I know we're not getting a new Smash game for like a long time. But Kiwami being on the Switch tells me that Kiryu has shot for being in Smash went way higher, bro. There are also way higher found in Kamarocho. Like all the way up. Like I'm expecting Oh hell yeah, dude. Oh, I love Yakuza. I've only played Kiwami, by the way. I gotta play everything else, but Discover I love this game. series began when Yakuza Kiwami launches on Nintendo Switch. That's what I say later today would be crazy. Okay, but that's it. That's all for today's Nintendo oh. Direct Partner Showcase. Thank you for watching. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be honest. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> it honestly wasn't that bad. They showed a lot of stuff that we already knew about. Uh, a couple of things that we didn't know about, I guess. Like Yakuza was kind of crazy. I got hyped. I got hyped for Yakuza so bad. Like it's crazy. Um, one thing I will say is, you know, let me let me let me talk to y'all real quick, bro. Let me talk to y'all real quick. Listen, I'm I'm so sorry to all of you. Silk Song fans, I know that you've been waiting for like two million years at this point for a new game, but one day, one day y'all will get your game. Not today, obviously. Probably not this year. Hey, maybe next year. Maybe next year. Shit, I'm gonna be honest. Y'all might have to start. That shit might have got canceled. I'm not gonna hold you. That shit might have got canceled. I don't even know what's going on with fucking Silk Song at this point. That shit might that shit might not even exist anymore. I'm not gonna lie to you. It might not exist. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.